Hey guys, Chris here. This is my 12 volt micro solar generator ammo can box I have out in the backyard. And this is the second iteration of this box. So I had my original one just laying off to the side and I decided I'd make this into a little power battery box with 12 volt outlets and cooling fan, a switch and a meter. And I've got it hooked up to my battery tender junior which outputs about 750 milliamps. Those are my custom made lanyards. At the end of this video I'll show you some still photos. Let's plug it in there and it keeps it maintained and charged. This is a new style switch I got off of eBay. It's a waterproof or weatherproof deal. I think it's good for about 15 amps. Let's see if I can find one here. I'll leave a link in the description below of the vendor that I got this through, but I really like this switch. It has the same one inch you know, screw in deal as those meters and 12 volt power sockets. And here I'm just uh, putting in a little voltmeter temperature Fahrenheit deal just to show you that it works. <laughs> it works fine. And we'll get inside here and I'll show you the guts and all the wiring and how I did it. But this thing can be really useful. I mean, you can use it as a you know standalone 12 volt power source. Here's the mesh air inlet, a la Midnight Solar, leftover parts. I'll show you the little 12 volt blower fan that blows out. We've got the finger grill on there. I had to expand the eye list to fit the 1024 hardware. Just a pinch. I take a lid off. What I like about these ammo cans, you can take the lid off. It's weather sealed too. Now right, let's look inside here. So this is an interstate battery deep cycle AGM 35 amp hour part number DCM0035. Love these batteries. These things are just awesome batteries. Those are the little battery post thumb, whatever you call them. I painted that one red a long time ago and just had it laying around. These are those little inline fuses you can get at Walmart or Napa or, or O'Reilly's. There's the fan. I use a little hot glue to secure the wires. There's a switch. On the back side here to keep it from flopping around. I've got it Velcroed on the left side there, but what I did is I put some rubber foam on those pieces of wood and put some screws in there so I could pull them in and out easier. Lessons learned from the first one. Here's the wiring. I'm using a 3 amp fuse for the fan switch in the meter and I got a 40 amp fuse in there because I got two those 12 volt power sockets are rated for 25 amps each so I just put a 40 amp in there. Alright I'll show you some stills here. down before I put the lanterns in there, of course. I kind of want to show you the close-up of my work on this lanyard. It's basically galvanized, galvanized picture frame wire, some 1024 hardware, got some keep lock nuts, flat washers, and that rubber washer deal there. So. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video inspires you with your own do-it-yourself creations. I had a lot of fun working on it. We'll see you next time.